Okay, so I'm just making a quick video to give a rationale for what we are doing in this in this running block. So these are long intervals, and I want you to consider these as being a base builder. So with this little video, I'm going to give a program rationale, the layout, and the session design as well. So it should be able to answer a lot of questions for you and shine a light on any issues that you might have when reading the program. So fundamentally, we need to ask ourselves, what are we targeting, right? And we have three systems that we can target, okay? We have aerobic, anaerobic, and neuron musculoskeletal strain. Now, this is, the target of this running block is aerobic and anaerobic contribution. We want to limit the neuro and musculoskeletal strain, and we're going to limit that by limiting the amounts of changes of direction, the amount of eccentric loading, the amount of turning, um, the pitch condition that we're going to run on, and so forth, plus the, the, recovery, um, the recovery protocols in between runs as well. So we're looking at developing this aerobic and anaerobic system in terms of contribution, and we're looking to get some time at VO2 max, which is really important. And um, I have outlined your, that's why I asked for your weight and for your um, age as well, because I have a VO2 max figure for everyone as well. So we essentially have 12 different variables that we can look at when we're manipulating these conditioning type sessions, okay? So work and recovery are intrinsically connected, all right? So <clears throat> you need to really pay attention to your work and your recovery um, intervals, okay? So number one here is your intensity, and your intensity is set at the velocity of your 30-15 test, okay? That sets the intensity, so therefore, that's number one. That's why everyone is going to be running at different distances based off the results of that 30-15 test, okay? So then when we move to the right, we go into the work zone, all right? So we have the intensity of the work, and we have the duration of the work, all right? Then three and four are the intensity and the duration of the recovery. And again, there is a, a, a very um, close relationship with, with the two of these. And I, I want you to, um, going forward in your own training, be aware of that, okay? So then number five, if you shoot down to see series duration, all right? And number six is the number of series. So a series is a run. So how, how, what's the duration of the runs? Do we do three runs, four runs consecutively? That would be a series. And then how many series are we doing? So think of it, if you were to think and make a comparison to strength work, it's like sets and reps. So then we shoot over to seven and eight. So we have between series recovery um, and between series recovery intensity. So you have duration and intensity of your recovery there. Really, really important that um, you understand that what you do during your recovery is going to play a big part on the physiological response to your runs. Uh, and that gives you your total volume. You shoot up to 10. We have the modality in terms of what we're going to run on. Is it going to be ground? Is it going to be grass? Is it going to be turf? Is it going to be sand? Is it going to be bloody um, track? It, it That all plays a role, especially in the amount of neuro and muscle, musculoskeletal stress that you're placing on your body as well. Um, if you're running on the road versus running on sand, then you have to want to have a completely different response to that, okay? Uh, and then we have 11 and 12, so we have environmental conditions. Is it hot? Are we running at altitude? All that kind of thing. And nutritional status as well. What I'm really going to focus on here um, is essentially you know, probably about one to 10. The 11 and the 12 um, are not as much of a focus, even though the nutrition should be. But um, I want you to touch base with uh, with your nutritionist or Martin on that one. Anyway. Okay, so uh, yeah, this is what you're going to get in terms of your program layout. Okay, so you can see here that uh, week one is yellow, week two is the darker one, week three is that light pink and week four is the brown color okay so you can see them on the bottom there on the x-axis and you can see them running down along that y-axis as well right so this one is from someone who scored a 19.5 which was the velocity at which 
they they reached on the 3015 test okay <clears throat> excuse me so you can make the comparison here between the graphic that's down below which i just had on the the previous slide and on the actual program as well right so the speed is your intensity okay so then your duration is your work time so you can see here that you're working for 180 seconds which is three minutes your recovery if you shoot over okay is passive so that's the intensity of your recovery i want you to essentially just walk okay and your duration of your recovery is 120 seconds now the the law of progressive overload is very very important so we're progressively overloading the speed okay so the speed gets overloaded right based off the speed uh, at your um that you pulled out of the 3015 test so for the first week we're working at 80 percent of your top speed for the second week we're working at 82 pushing into 84 then 86 and up to 90 percent of your top speed okay so that's worked out then at meters per second and that's giving you your distance for your runs okay so distance per run i have that column in a kind of a blue so you can see that's the distance that you have to lay out for each one of your runs and you can see that how that progressively overloads throughout the program you're always going to have four runs okay so it's always just going to be three minute run two minute recovery all right that's one bout three minute run two minute recovery that's your second bout you do four bouts okay so then the total block time is 20 minutes all right so your total time that you'll consistently do is 20 minutes but as you can see that your total distance within that 20 minutes is increasing week on week now we don't have um heart rate monitors which means that i can't really give you <clears throat> an objective internal marker so what i want you to do is the session rpe and this is a projected rpe so i think the first two sessions will be at about a seven for you um and then we're working up to about an 8.5 okay so again we're limiting the amount of uh, change of directions we're limiting the we're running on grass so we're limiting that neuromuscular load and your recovery is just passively walking you can see down along you have session one to session 11 your first week you have two sessions within the one week and then from week two three and four you do three sessions um within the week okay so how do you mark out the session so what you want to do is i want you to mark 100 meters on the field okay so think of it as like you're marking to do a 1k time trial so you have 100 meters on the field okay if you're lucky enough that it works out at the exact 100 and it rounds up to the to the nearest unit then it makes it easier for you okay but the odds of that are quite slim all right so if it did you you'd start here on the x on the right you would run 100 meters up okay that gives you 100 meters if you had to cover 800 meters in three minutes you just do eight runs now if you have to do 840 what i would recommend is you come in 40 meters off both ends and just put a marker there so that essentially means that if you were starting from left to right you would do your eight runs and then you just meet your uh, center, your 40 meter mark, and you have your 840 done. Okay. Now, again, you should be doing that uh, on three minutes. It should be taking you three minutes to do that run. Okay. Then, for your two minute recovery, I just would recommend you walk to the far over and you just keep walking and keep active, but don't do anything more than just walking. Okay. Again, it's a 20 minute running block. And that's how it's laid out. As always, if you have any questions, just uh, feel free to give me a shout. But you should have a good rationale, understanding, and a logic around what we're doing with that. Okay, thank you very much, lads.